of a love language. And why, when I see guys sit here and tell you what their love language is, I be thinking to myself, what a fool. What a fool. What a mother effing fool. I'm trying not to cuss. God bless me for my effort. Multiply my results. Multiply my results, Lord. Bless me, bless me for my effort. Multiply my results. That's my prayer in the morning. Bless me for my effort. Multiply my results because ain't nobody fooled, not even you. You holding on to it, understanding that you're getting finesse before you even got in the bed with that dude. You knew what it was. You knew you was going to get kicked out. You was hoping that he was going to lay up with you, but he had post-nut clarity, and he said, listen, baby girl, I got somewhere to be. He ain't got nowhere to be. He about to take a nap, but he need to get you up out of there. So he told you that he had something to do before he bust you down so that you understood that you had to leave and it wouldn't feel as bad when he was kicking you out in the morning. That's the truth. It don't get no realer than that. The finesse is, man, I ain't got a lot of time. I got to get out of here. But you so infatuated with the idea of him, understanding that what it was is already what it's going to be. And so he told you that, prefacing what he was about to do to you so he could already hit the play and get you up out of there. It wasn't that he wanted to kick you out. It was that he already knew what it was going to be, and he knew that it was just a moment. And so he prefaced it by saying, man, I ain't really got enough time. I only got 20 minutes. I got to get up out of here. And so you opened your mouth. You gave him that Gawk Gawk 3000. He bust you down, and you thought that you was going to still lay there and that he was going to change the pretend plan that he already gave you in order to get you out of there in the first place because you knew that he was, you know that he's lying to you. You know that he has nowhere to be. You know that at that time of night, nothing is open but the devil and he already at the crib, but he's going to say, ah, man, I ain't got a lot of time, man. He been prepping, prepping you all day. He been hitting you with this line all day, and so at the time that you arrived, at the cut, when he bust you down, and then he was like, oh, man, I got to get up out of here. He started looking for his pants. Man, you know, listen, we got to go because, you know, I already told you that I had something to do. That was the finesse. And you knew that it was the finesse before he finessed you, but it was so easy to get you up out of that box. And then it's going to be some other sad sucker. And it's, I'm so disappointed in you, black woman. And obviously, this ain't for everybody. So if the shoe fit, wear it. But I'm so disappointed in you, black woman. I'm so disappointed that you the ones that continue to stand in front of the clinics, but you keep on telling us how smart you are, how much more advanced you are than us, how much greater you are than us, how much more educated you are than us, how much more your brain develops fully before us, and how you are so smart, but you so dumb. You so dumb. Dumb as ever, dumb as a box of rocks every single day. Listen, my office is right downtown. I travel city to city, state to state. I just got back from what, Tampa? I just got back from Tampa. I seen some of the most beautiful girls in the world. And you know what I was thinking to myself as I was riding through the streets, seeing what was happening out here in these streets? Dumb, da da dum dum dum. Prettiest girl in the world, dumb as a box of rocks. You can't be that dumb. Black woman, mother of the earth, queen of the universe, till kingdom come, thy will be done. If God is a black woman, then how come all of the ones on the earth are so dumb? Riddle me that. If God is a black woman, then how come all of the ones that I see walking around with single baby mamas, with multiple baby daddies, that's the worst thing for them, is dumb? You can't tell me that the person that created the molecular structure and the Big Bang and that was engineering our bodies in order to reproduce and created the seahorse and the whales and the depths of the ocean and the space and the stars and all of these different entities and, and animals and, and created the man first and then he created the rib and then he created the woman and then created all of these things and then created the covenant that he made with man that he would never destroy the earth again. Tell me! That God is a black woman, but I see so many ones that continue to give in to the devil every single day. That can't be true. How is it that Eve was able to go over there and give in to the serpent that he was able to trick her, but she was the God that created the very man that made the rib that then created the woman that he came out of to then go over there and be beguiled by the serpent in order to eat the fruit? 
And then God had to kick them out of the garden unless they found the tree of life. And then they became God like us. Yeah, I read the word. I can quote it, quote it scripture by scripture by scripture by scripture. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Joshua, Judges, and Ruth. I can go all the way through every single scripture and show you that it's no way possible that God is that stupid to create a being like them and it be a woman. God can't be a woman because I've never seen such egregious behavior and ignorance operated out of voluntarily in my life. In my lifetime, you can't tell me that we've been here for hundreds and millions of years and that the time between God and man, it doesn't even exist because you know not of what it is that he knows and all of these different things and the mysteries and that you can explore the mind. It's no way that God is a woman and we sitting here looking at these beings on earth looking dumb. A dog got more sense than you in some of these instances. I see animals that can sniff out the, the finesse before you can. No way, no how. There's no way you can show me or tell me or convince me. You can put the proof right in front of my face, then I will walk away from the church today. If God is a woman, I will walk away and I will denounce the church today. No way, no how. Not even a little bit. You can't tell me that these animals on this earth is smart enough to be able to sniff out the finesse. You land there with your cat. You a cat lady. The cat knew that you was about to get finesse. He keep on getting up under you and rubbing you. The dog know that you about to get finesse. The dog is laying next to you like. <laughs> the dog want to bite the nigga and you can't understand why the dog don't like the dude that's coming in the house. Because he know that you about to be a baby mama. Good Jesus. Lord have mercy. What is happening? The dog is over there sniffing out the finesse and you can't see it. We got all of this technology. All of this advanced tech. Chat GBT can tell you that the nigga bought the finesse you and you can't see it. You can't see it. <laughs> Let me tell you how. All right. Let me tell you how. Even the women that's finessing y'all don't even know how to finesse y'all properly. Umar Johnson is smart enough to drag out building this school for the next 20 years because he know how to skin a cat more than once. Derrick Jackson know how to rebrand himself and then finesse y'all for the next 20 years because he know how to finesse y'all. And then Brick Lady comes through and she throws a hoax on y'all two times in order to get investigated and kicked off of Whatever the GoFundMe is that she got going on because women ain't even smart enough to smell a finesse with her and she not even smart enough to be able to drag it out for the next 20 years in order to finesse y'all. The women finessers ain't even smart enough to finesse y'all long enough than the men that's finessing y'all out of y'all panties and y'all cash app. Finessing you out of your bag.